Hi, this is tutorial on Visual Basic 2010 and today I will show you traffic light system uh, which is quite useful program if you want to learn some additional stuff. I will show you today um, a shapes, how we use shapes and change the color of shapes. Uh, also timer will be used um, but also call function so it's actually it, it's very good to know those things. So let me create the shape first. So I have three shapes for lights. No, no, I'm quite blind. I think that's straight. I don't know. Um, I will have a timer and also two buttons for a um, manual change of lights and also automatic change of lights. Okay, let um, me name them first. So one will be manual and this one will be automatic we can also set the first one um, shape first shape to the uh, back color of red but to do so you need to change back color to red but also back style from the transfer to upper cube and this way you will have a change on the form and uh, with the other two just change them to white with the same thing from transfer to upper cube and same with this one to white so we have the first shape as red and then we have the combination of red yellow green yellow only and red again okay I will also set my timer to interval as a thousand that's a one second uh, and enabled is false and it should stay like this it should it should be false Okay, so first one is manual button. I will need some kind of variables first, so I will declare them. Lights as integer, and also I will need a mode as string. And mode will help me with the change between those two, between manual and uh, automatic. Okay, and so let me start with the code. Uh, if um, that's the validation first lights is equal to 5 and then lights equal to lamp and why is that because I will have four changes so four changes four times I click it and the same combination will be repeated after four clicks so instead of counting it every time I can just uh, count to 5 and then if it's 5 I can just so it's one again and combination will repeat itself some kind of something something like a loop but not exactly okay so the second if statement will be lights is equal to one then I will need to change the shapes so shape will be um, oval oval shape one that and back color is equal to red and oval shape 2 back color is equal to yellow and the other one is equal to white and three back color is equal to white okay so that's my first statement and now else if and uh, light is equal to 2 then I'll say oval uh, of our shape one that text and uh, sorry um, back color is equal to white this time and second shape is equal to also white and back color is equal to white and the third one is equal to green okay so that's my second change and um, let's take here else if again and uh, light equal to three then I'll have again color change of shape so oval this one stay stays as white and this one changes to yellow
and this one changes to white and should be the black color is equal to white and last change and light equal to four and then oval shape one is red and the rest of them are white so let me just copy and this one is white as well okay so that's uh, the color will change but one thing is missing here and that is the counter so light is equal to light plus one and let me just copy that and paste it to each of those statements this way it will move on to next else and stuff like this so it will count properly um i can i think it will sh it will work now so um no i need to set the lights as well okay so in the form load i will set light is equal to one of the mode in the mid time is equal to manual I will need this later on with the uh, automatic change and this one is just the light is equal to one I think that should work now yes so as you can see when I click each time the combination the combination changes as I like it as I want it to that's in the real life how the light uh, light changes from this 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 and this okay so that's the manual button done now I need the automatic button so automatic button um, will have a mode inside so if mode is equal to manual um, then mode is equal to is equal to automatic and then um, timer dot enabled is equal to true also I will disable um, button one that enable is equal to false so this will mean when the automatic um, automatic um, button is clicked it will go through automatic uh, function but the, the manual button will be uh, unable to press and also button 2 text will be changed to to other caption uh, to other text so that if you click it again it will change back to manual so for example and else so if it's clicked second time so mode will equal to manual again and timer will be uh, disabled is equal to false and button one and that enabled is equal to true because it's out of the automatic function and then button two will go back to its um, text, its original uh, label. Okay, so that's set for the button. Now what I need to do is um, basically create um, a timer, and I will use the call function. So call button one that click and why it doesn't work and um, because of this thing i just need to delete this i don't need it now it will work so when i run this i will show you now so when i run this i have manual which worked properly and i have automatic it says click again to change back as you can see the light changes each second and when i change back 
as you can see it's automatic again to press and manual is enabled and the timer stops it doesn't change anymore so i can use manual uh, very simple code nothing um special here besides this one we can use call just to save some space of the code because for example if we need to use the same code again we can just call the function and that's it there's no point to you know copy everything and paste it in the timer because the it just takes space and stuff like this so it's very good to use call function but also i just showed you how how you can create um toggle buttons so that if something is pressed then other is um disabled and stuff like this also shapes you can use shapes for other purposes stuff like this so um that's the end of the tutorial um also visit uh, my uh, web page and youtube channel if you like it subscribe more tutorials to come and i don't know yet what the next tutorial will be about but probably something new and uh, so um have patience when i create it you will see and i will see you next